Hi guys, it's Lita Lums Apotheca Health and Beauty Hacks and today we're going to make another Hyaluronic Acid Serum with some a very quick way to make the gel and of hyaluronic acid and also we're going to play with liposomals from all these liposomals that I got from Formula Sample Shop and we're also going to preserve it with root radish extract. Very cool! Let's make another Hyaluronic Acid Serum. So to make a quick gel I put half a teaspoon of hyaluronic acid in basically a ice water, like some ice in there, and I shook it, shook it, and you know I didn't even put it in the in the in the uh, fridge. <laughs> um, we're gonna preserve it this time because I don't, I don't want to keep it in the fridge all the time. I'm gonna preserve it with root radish extract, my favorite preservative lately, coming uh, uh, from a bio ferment filtrate process and it's been approved by Whole Foods and everything so it's really good. Lewicidal liquid at uh, 2%. 1-2%. Yeah! All of these liposomes, there's vitamin B3 liposome, all these, you know, liposomes, we've made this before where you, it's encapsulating the nutrient like the vitamin C in a little lipid bubble. So these are all water soluble though, so they can be in a hyaluronic acid serum. And we're gonna put it in this airless pump that I found and it, it's opaque, so it's not going to have any light. And I'm gonna use it in my bathroom and I'll have to go to the fridge. What do you think about that? Oh my God. You guys should got to check out Formula Sample Shop. I really like them. So this is salicylic acid liposome. I'm not gonna put all of these in, but I did get all of these. Vitamin A, C, E. Let's do it with that. Vitamin A, C, E. Liposome. This is water soluble, so it's got vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E in it. Maybe a little bit like a hyaluronic acid serum. You know, vitamin C, E. Let's do that. Okay, guys? Okay, let's do it. Yay! Turn around. Okay, to make a thicker gel, I'm going to do in two ounces. Wow! of water. First I'm going to chill it for a bit, like half an hour in the freezer. Okay. Okay guys, here's my water. See it's got it's two ounces of water and it's got little ice bits in it. See that's a wall of ice. That's going to come in handy when I shake this up. So I just froze it in the freezer for like half an hour. Yeah, that's ice, so that's gonna break up. And I'm gonna put two fourth teaspoons, so basically half a teaspoon, of hyaluronic acid I got from Bulk Supplements to make my thick gel, which you guys saw. And then I'm gonna shake it up, so it'll be all kinda gloppy. And then you just let it sit for a moment and you shake, 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 shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. See, it's already dissolving. Speed making hyaluronic gel. Yeah. It's already basically, see, there's a little bit of the white powder still in there, the hyaluronic acid, but it's dissolving so quickly. It's making a pretty thick gel. So I'm just, that's like the quickest way I've ever made. Oh, ice. but it's gonna be pretty quick. Much quicker than like overnight trying to create your hyaluronic acid. Okay, I'm gonna put in this container, 30 milliliters. Okay, here we are. This handy little teeny cup. And I'm gonna do 30 milliliters of my gel that I just made today real quick. My frozen water, it's pretty thick. Yeah. All right, cool. And then we're gonna add our vitamin liposomal ACE, my pipette here. Pipettes are awesome. To go all the way up. These are one milliliter pipettes. One, it's kind of a milky sort of uh, iridescent 
kind of looking. Two, three, all these liposomes. So I don't know, that makes me feel like, oh, they must be really liposomes because they are this weird, it's like there's little reflectance inside of it. Little reflectors. And then we're gonna put uh, just 0.6 milliliters of the Lewisidal, Lewisidal, I don't know, the root radish for filtrate. Six mil, 0.6 milliliters, about half of this, of more Lewisidal. And I'm just gonna stir it up. Yeah. I'm gonna pour that in. So it's kind of creamy because of the liposome. Like you might want your serums. Mm, it's thick. You could also put a little bit of a hydrosol or something. You could you could make the hydrosol your water. Ooh, smelling yummy. Yeah. Oh yeah. If it's a little thick, you could cut it with some hydrosol, like a neroli hydrosol, a vanilla hydrosol. Oh my god. Orange blossom hydrosol, which I don't know. I don't really. It doesn't smell very good. I got this from them to test it out, but I prefer my hydrosol just from the Persian market. <laughs> much better just to cut it a little bit I didn't I didn't uh, measure that at all pretty good does it smell very good mmm it smells very faint doesn't smell like much and then I'm just gonna pour that into my these are great I got these just from an Amazon seller so it's a airless pump and pour that in this is gonna take some skill Oh, see, no skill, yo. Whoa, whoops. Whatever, I'll just wipe it off. Voila, pretty good. And what's awesome is, oh yeah. Louis Cidol actually has skin benefits too. So that's very dope. Mm, light, light, light scent. The end. There you go, guys. A new hyaluronic acid serum. And you can really put whatever you want in there. I mean, you don't have to only do, uh, you know, a liposomal. But these aren't that expensive. $30, $25. And you can use them for a while. You know, I'm only using two milliliters or three milliliters. So it's pretty cost effective, especially since you're getting the hyaluronic acid serum so cheap. Huh? <sighs> it's, it's getting a little dark. Sorry. Yeah, or you could use your vitamins. You could you, you could dissolve your. I would use L ascorbic acid in there, not palmitate, and your DMAE. You could do that. You could really put anything you want in there. You could do niacinamide. You could do niacinamide with N-acetylglucosamine for lightening the skin. That stuff really works. I like it in a spray, but you can do whatever you like. Okay, guys, so if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And let's discuss any of your favorite DIY hyaluronic acid additions in the comments below. Below. Psh, blah, 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 formula sample shop. And we're going to show you a quick way to make a really kind of a quick way to make. This is a 100 milliliter container. <gasps> Woo! Oh shit, these are teeny pipettes. Dang it! It's getting dark. Oh no. Okay. Ounce. Which I'm gonna hold up. Hi guys, it's Lita Lums of Pothica Health and Beauty Hacks, and today we're gonna make another hyaluronic acid serum. Yeah, it's a splendid idea.